potential for sprouted seeds to supply feed for layers. Provision of range or a green feed source is essential for organic poultry and it also increases omega-3 and beta-chlorophyll levels of eggs, which is known human health benefits. There are occasions, such as during snow or heavy rain, when the range is not available. It's also possibly during times of drought that the range becomes overgrazed and bare. There are also occasions such as lockdown restrictions, such as avian flu, when alternative food is required. Sprouted seeds may be a way of giving birds green forage, but the sprouting process itself could change the feed characteristics of seeds by converting starch to sugars. And sprouting also does reduce some of the plant's own natural protection, such as anti-nutritional factors. It can also add an enrichment in the housing to provide both a food source and entertainment in conventional birds. Although the sprouted seeds do provide green forage, we do not have enough information of feed value. This trial developed a sprouter system to investigate the efficient sprouting of wheat and, spr and veg sprouts on farm and looked at their feed value after five days of sprouting. Germination converts starch to sugar, so the trial looked at the effect of these changes on metabolizable energy. And the trial also looked at protein contents and whether there was any change in amino acid levels, particularly the essential amino acids. We also looked at changes in anti-nutritional factors in the vetches, particularly by assessing trypsin inhibitor activity. The first version of the sprouter was very simplistic, with just a water sprouter, spraying water, but we added problems with moulds and uneven germination. We then added a fan, which was used to control the humidity, and a final version with UV light, which produced a much more consistent and usable product. We also looked at vetches, Vicia sativa, which is an annual climbing legume common as a companion plant and used in green manures. However, on the farm we're working at, it is a very easy to grow. And so we wanted to look at its possibilities. It can often be grown as an intercrop with cereals um, and by combined together could possibly produce a much more complete food. As a protein food, the amino acid profile is very similar to between vetches, beans and soya, as you can see from this graph. However, all pulses contain anti-nutritional factors which affect feed digestion in pigs and poultry. There are also some which can be toxic if fed in large quantities. So sprouting, soaking and heating are ways used to reduce these levels. In the trial, the feed value of wheat sprouting led to a reduction in the starch and increased the sugar levels over the five days tested. However, there was no change in pig digestible energy although after five days, poultry metabolizable energy was 40% lower. With the protein, there was no change in amino acid profile or crude protein level of the wheat sprouts until day five. With the vetches, the sprouting reduced the starch and fiber levels measure, measured as NDF and increased sugar levels that had no effect on protein. It had little effect on the available energy levels for pigs or poultry. For the vetches, sprouting had little effect on amino acid levels. And the trypsin inhibitor activity showed a small reduction on day five. But we do need to assess further the effect of sprouting on Y gluttony B cyanoline, a toxin which can affect birds. In conclusion, the trial has shown that a sprouter can be easily developed on farm and will produce green food for poultry and, and pigs. It would seem that three days sprouting is best for vet, wheat, but vetch requires five days. Nutritionally, this could replace some of the feed without reducing intake. This could provide forage for organic birds in the case of forced housing due to bird flu, drought or frozen conditions. And it would supply flock enrichments for housed non-organic birds.